Fog football back again with some more transfer news and we have, well I was going to say a full card but four games today so make sure you check out the match reviews later. Celtic, Kelly, St Mirren, Hearts and two other games before Motherwell are on Sky tomorrow which is actually a bit surprising against, um, who are they, who's playing? I think it's Motherwell against Hibs tomorrow uh, and then it's Dundee United against Rangers. So two games from the Scottish Premiership on Sky tomorrow so that's, that's good to see. Kind of is just because of the FA Cup like but... Into the transfer gossip we go, and we've got Serie A outfit Monza backed by former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, Berlusconi, however, are serious about signing Celtic's 27-year-old right-back Josep Juravic this month as they strive to move further away from the relegation. So news broke about this yesterday, I believe, and it looks for around 6.2 million, which is a weird one because, I mean, that's nowhere near Celtic's valuation, and we also seen that they would actually prefer a loan and then for them to buy him permanently in the summer. No chance. Well, I'm saying no chance. Would I be surprised if Celtic agreed to it? Yes, but at the same time, would would they rather agree to that and get ready and make a bit of money? I think it's the fact it's the loan, because I mean, they wouldn't be getting the money to the summer. I think they could agree to like six and a half million. I think it's just the fact, though, that it would be a loan that we put off Celtic, even though I think, I mean, you're on a fetch, I think they're going to be aiming to get at least over 10, and 6.2 million falls incredibly short of, you know, what he's been linked with, 15 million, 25 million, 30 million in some cases, so that'll be interesting to see whether that happens, but I'm expecting a better team than Monza to go for him, and I don't even think he'd, would he even move to Monza? Like, would he? Would he not rather, like, battle it out with Alistair Johnson? For the next couple of months and then get a big move in the summer personally that's i think probably might happen if, if mons is going to be the only team in for him because we've seen barca aren't willing to get him because they need to sell in order to buy players despite the fact you know they go out and spend hundreds of millions despite the fact they're in three million three billion pounds of debt it's, it's a joke in La Liga at the minute. It says here, with nine defeats in the last 11 games, Hibernian manager Lee Johnson is feeling the heat. Easter Road striker on this, but says it's getting to a point where you can't keep sacking managers. He's right, but I think, I mean, to maybe take Sean Maloney out of it, but I, you could see what Jack Ross was doing. Jack Ross actually, for the first couple of months, I mean, Hibs were fucking top of the league last year, and then it all kind of fell apart after eight Rangers beat them at Ibrox, but... I think Jack Ross out the three, definitely the best option. Uh, Tony Civic argues that his team should not only be looking to ensure they finish in the top three, but that catching Rangers in second spot should be the aim. Well, there's no reason for being ambitious. I think uh, I admire that for some players, even though it's pretty unrealistic. Uh, Scottish Premiership top scorer Farahashi says new signings, Awata and Kobayashi, are ready to make an impact at Celtic. Oh, yeah. And then Goodwin says he will hope to make Graham Shinney's deal a permanent one if his loan is a success. It's a weird one, but you never know. Maybe it will um turn out to be a good move. Chris Boyd, though, this, this is what I think is brilliant. Chris Boyd thinks Celtic manager and Paul Oglis observes of, of, of uh, observations is the word we're looking for. On Celtic not being awarded a penalty when the ball struck Connor Goldson's hand and the two each old firm draw Ibrox are designed to keep the Celtic supporters riled into believing the world is against them. I agree with Chris Boyd. He may have said that <laughs> he may have said some controversial stuff recently, even though I mean he always says controversial stuff. Whether it be about oh let's get John Fleck in or something like that. <laughs> no. But yeah, I is Ange is completely bought into the victim mentality. Like it's like what about the decisions Rangers haven't got? You haven't really heard too much about it. I mean, the Scottish Cup final, man, a few years ago, offside. Even this year, you, you, you've had stuff like the first game of the season, Kolak scores a header and they give it as offside. Um, against Hearts, Craig Gordon came out, fails to win the ball and it got given as a free kick despite the fact our field has scored a perfectly legal goal. I mean, I think the only thing you can say is, well, the VAR now, why can't they? But again, we've seen with VAR, it's been in use for a couple of years now. Not everything's been right. You know, it's been pretty shite, to be honest, VAR. Where I say it's helped football, no. See this scoring and waiting about to see if your team's actually scored a goal and not being able to properly celebrate. It fucking hurts when it goes against you. And I think football, I think the Scottish Premiership was much better without VAR. I feel like last season and the start of this season, you know, when you watched it compared to other leagues and competitions that had it, 
you know, it just you know you could celebrate as long as the linesman hadn't stuck your flag up. Now obviously you're going to get more decisions technically, like offsides, but you know, some offs like you can never get something that's level now, and in my opinion, that sucks. But Rangers manager Michael Beale defends under fire striker Alfredo Morelos, saying the Colombian strikers played the last two or three games while struggling with injury, while others would have made themselves unavailable. Yeah, I see exactly. Morelos is, I think you can clearly tell, like, it's not just fitness with Morelos. Like, I mean, he's clearly playing with a knock, and I think you've seen that with Tav as well. Like, fitness is one thing, but if you've got a knock or an injury, your fitness is always going to be pish. Um, what's this say? Uh, playmaker. Luka Modric is a major inspiration for Rangers left back Barisic to continue playing well into his 30s. Oh aye. Also, Alabidgard, Oliver, he could be coming back, but of course, um, he's pretty shite and they'll get in a game for Celtic. Waste of signing, man. That was a stupid signing. Says here, tackling, passing, creating chances, just some of the things St. Johnson defender Ryan McGowan claims and his teammates must improve upon him there to end their free game losing streak. And then with just the newspapers, Talking about United beating uh, Everton in the Cup. And that is it, guys. That is it. So, Juranovic to Monza for 6.2 million. And then Chris Boyd slabbering about Ange. And we love to see it. But until then, peace.